Protein synthesis of Digestion first be repping in the mouth. Teeth be grinding away at life, you know. Breaking that food down into smaller pieces. Salivary glands be shooting out that saliva made of mucus, water, and salivary amylase. No matter how hard you try, your autonomic nervous system will be working away without you knowing. Secreting out that saliva like no other. So, in the esophagus, food is forced through by smooth muscle contractions known as... Peristalsis. The diaphragm is forming a barrier thingy, you know, between the breathing system and the foodie system. Finally, the food, you know, it slides into the stomach through the cardiac sphincter, leaving the magical land of the esophagus. Yeah. Do you know nothing about digestion? I'm the one who emulsifies. Clearly, the parietal cells secrete the hydrochloric acid, while the chief cells secrete the protein pepsinogen. Pepsinogen is the inactive form of pepsin, which when combined with HCL, forms the enzyme pepsin. Pepsin is what makes digestion in the stomach so beautiful. It is present in gastric juices and is the enzyme that begins a hydrolysis of proteins, breaking their peptide bonds. Not only does HCL kill bacteria in the stomach and regulate a low pH, but it happens to be my favorite acid for disposing of evidence. What begins in the stomach as a recently swallowed meal becomes a nutrient-rich broth known as an acid chyme. At the opening from the stomach to the small intestine is the pyloric sphincter. This regulates the passage of chyme into the small intestine. Gastrin from the stomach recirculates via the bloodstream back into the stomach, which stimulates the production of gastric juices. All those good juices and chyme mix in the duodenum, yep. That's where all the good good is absorbed. Let it roll until it the next stops on our great bolus's trip to the toilet are the jejunum and the ileum, where lots of absorption occurs. <laughs> These make up the next 11 feet. That's like, long way, bro. The small intestine has got, like, a bunch of little hairy fingers, man. They call them villi, I think. The villi are lined with microvilli, which absorb the nutrients with the help of brush border enzymes and enterokinase, which is produced by the cells of the duodenum and converts trypsinogen into its active fr form, trypsin, resulting in the activation of pancreatic digestive enzymes that break down food. Those fats are polar and don't seem to get along with blood, so they move through the absorption lacteal, which is a lymphatic vessel. These fats are called chylomicrons, which are laced with cholesterol and coated in that dank protein, yo. Oh, I almost forgot about those tight junctions. They tight, yo! They prevent leakage. Ain't nobody want no leakage. Uh, pancreas. So it makes the sodium bicarbonate, <laughs> baking soda, when the duodenum releases secretin, letting little panky know and stuff, it neutralizes the acid chyme. Oh yeah, it also secretes digestive enzymes when CCK is present. That includes proteases, lipases, and amylases that break down the different foodie things, along with digestive enzymes. Insulin is made by little Miss Panky, which regulates blood sugar, causes cells in the liver, skeletal muscles, and fat tissue to absorb glucose, sort as glycogen and triglycerides. <laughs> Alright, so next up is the liver. The liver basically does everything. It stores, synthesizes, filters, detoxes, and regulates. Like I said, everything. 
Bile is made in that. It's a big deal. Neutralizing acidic chyme and emulsifying fats in the duodenum. Another useful thing made is urea, which deaminates amino groups. In the liver, you can find all of our storages of carbs, iron, retinol as vitamin A, and calciferol as vitamin D. Gotta have that D. Nutrient in a conversion is when building blocks from the intestine are made into bigger and better products for use. First, the liver synthesizes proteins with amino acids using albumin and fibrinogen. The next synthesis is cholesterol. Whether it makes LDLs or HDLs is, bit, is determined by the amounts already in the body. The last conversion is glucose to glycogen or vice versa based on the blood sugar amounts. And of course, when people be hitting their drink a little hard, the liver detoxifies the blood through sinusoidal system of kupfer cells that ingest and break down toxins. Be that storage facility for bile, you know what I'm saying? Bile is made of water, cholesterol, and organic salts, bio, bicarbonate ions, bile pigments, bilirubin, and those good bile salts. Yeah. Wink, wink, uh. And it emulsifies fats. Gallstones occur when you ain't hydrated, but mainly due to a buildup of bilirubin or cholesterol and a lack of bile salts. It literally hurts me to listen to you talk about digestion. The colon is another name for the large intestine. The remaining water is absorbed back into the body, solidifying the waste. The rectum is where the feces are stored until they can be eliminated. The anus is a voluntary sphincter where the feces are eliminated from the body. Symbiotic bacteria live in the large intestine where they help create vitamin K, an essential nutrient to the body. Feces are made up of undigested fiber, bacteria, water, and epithelial tissue. If you think about it, we just broke bolus.